In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a video using Photo Story 3 for Windows. So this is a free download. Just go to the web and search for Photo Story 3 and you can download it from Microsoft. I'm choosing this program because it is free and because it's very, very easy to use. So once you've written your script, collected your images and music, uh, it'll take you between 5 and 20 minutes to make your video just depending on how long you want to spend. All right, so I've opened the program and we have three options here. Begin a new story, edit a project, or play a story. So if I've been working on one and I want to come back and make changes, I would go to edit a project. If I've already made one and I just want to see it, we're going to go to play a story, but we'll go to begin a new story. Now there's only one thing you can do on this first screen and that is to import pictures. So that's what we'll do. You click on the button and it opens your browser. So I'm going to go, I put all of my stuff for my project in a folder and grab my images. Now you can use the control key or the shift key or you can uh, do one at a time, whichever you'd prefer. I'm going to use the control key as I'm clicking to grab just the images I want for my movie. And just a few more. All right. It's going to import those pictures and put them on my timeline. And then I can either drag the images or use the arrows to move them around. If I accidentally grab a picture I didn't want, I could click on that picture and then click the X to get rid of it. I do have a couple of photo editing options in here that you can play with if you need to. For example, if you want to rotate your pictures if you want to make some basic, basic edits to them, like cropping, you can do that here. You can also add, there we go, a few effects to these. So you could make them all black and white, for example, so you have a consistent look throughout your uh, movie. You also have an option to remove black borders. So sometimes you can see with this one, you, I've got black borders on my image. And so you can go into their little wizard and get rid of those if you want to. So I'm going to do that on all of my images. You don't have to if you don't want to, though. Basically, it just zooms it in, as you can see. All right, when you're happy with the order and placement of your images, and you should have hopefully have worked with a storyboard to know what order you want everything in, so this is really easy, we're going to move to the next screen. And on this next screen, you can type text directly on the photos. Now, generally, if we're making a movie with narration, I would discourage you from doing this very much, but you can do it. So this is the Catedral de Cristóbal Colón in Cuba. So I could put that on there. I can change so if I click on that little A button, I can change the font, I can change the size, I can change the color, etc. Okay. Um, I can move it to the left, to the right, or center it. I can move it to the top or to the bottom. All right, so those are options. Again, I discourage you from using it too much, but you can. And then we can go in and add those effects if we forgot to on the previous screen. Then this little button here and its companion over on the left will allow you to move between pictures. Just like that. So you can see what your pictures are and you can add titles to whichever ones you want to. Again, if you're adding narration, text on the screen as well will be kind of distracting. So don't overuse this, okay? All right. When you're done with that, you click Next, and on that screen, I'll show you how to do motion and narration in the next video.